Brandon and Brady back again with the Kabuki Strength team and today we are talking about planks. All things plank variations and we are going to start it off with the classical plank. Okay, With this, uh, we've already instructed Brady on, on some of the cueing so we won't have to go incredibly in depth there as most people are already going to be familiar with this but we're going to talk to some of the nuances of the plank today. The plank is not as simple as just holding that position. Uh, if you search around on YouTube, you can see people doing planks for you know an hour uh, or however long, and that is nearly uh, pointless. Okay, so today uh, we will we'll preface this by saying if you can do this for longer than 10 to 15 seconds, uh, you're not doing it properly for what we want to get out of it. Okay, there's obviously other applications for it. For us, in a movement prep standpoint, uh, we want to be very forceful and practice intent with this. If we're doing this as specifically an ab drill, we might go a little bit longer duration, but still very forceful, okay? So, if you haven't already, watch our alligator, uh, crocodile, whatever it's called, breathing video, um, because that is gonna set the foundation for this entire setup, okay? So, Brady is going to first put his forearms into the uh, starting position of where the plank would be. We're going to cue him to breathe through his low back as the crocodile breathing is. Go ahead. As he fills up, he's going to hold it and he's going to press into the plank. Pulling himself up and holding tight. From this position, we want to see slight extension through here. No rounding. We want to see a very flat base from his, uh, uh, the base of his skull to his hips. Okay, and what we're going to check in this position, we're going to make Brady go a little bit longer uh, than we normally would because we're going to talk through it. Okay, what we're looking for, we want to have him draw down with the elbows and back. Okay, the drawing down with the elbows is going to set the lats into the correct position. This is going to be incredibly tight right now. Okay, so the drawing down and back of the elbows is going to set the lats in the scapula for a stable base to um, hold from. Second. Quads are tight, okay? As he comes off the floor, the quads are flexed and extended, okay? The quads in conjunction with the glutes are gonna take you out of any pelvic tilt that you have and establish a proper uh, pelvic position. From here, we're gonna look at the feet, okay? His heels are gonna be very uh, vertical and we can test it and see how tight he really is by flicking them out. Okay, he should be able to resist me here. If he can't resist me and he folds, it means his glutes, maybe something else up the chain isn't as tight as it is. Go ahead and relax, Brady. So, like I said, uh, Brady likely wasn't doing that as hard as he could because we're demonstrating it through. Uh, you should only be able to hold this for a very short duration if you're doing it properly, which is what we want. We don't need extended, uh, you know, minute, two minute, three minute long planks. We need very intent and forceful planks. Um, Brady, anything you'd like to add to our uh, plank drill? I think you pretty well covered it. Cool. All right. Brandon and Brady, signing out.